In this tutorial, I will show you how to work with networks. So you first go to where it says Networks on top, New Network View, a new network was created, and now I can insert into this network view the elements that uh, are connected to other elements so that I can see those connections in this graphical representation. Uh, first of all, let me start with a single document, Participant 5. 5, this is a document for my project. Uh, now, what can I do? Let's see, I want to know who this person is. So, I will import the groups to which this document belongs. Well, I see that this is somebody who was, uh, who was interviewed as part of a survey. This is someone who was interviewed in the country Brazil. It's someone gender female, and it's somebody who said that the a barrier to access services is uh, is economics. It looks like yes, economics. So this is a brief description of this individual, and all I did is import into this network view the groups to which this particular document belongs. So what else can I do? Well, let me see. Let me see who uh, or what this person has uh, has been saying, or or the the quotations that I have created in this individual uh, document. So right click, import quotations. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are quotations that were created inside of this document. So now I have in this document view. Uh, the uh, the groups to which a document belongs survey data Brazil gender female and someone who said that economics is a barrier to services and I also know here what this person is saying in this document now I may want to import into this view also the uh, codes that are coding those quotations so I selected one quotation and now I imported the codes that that are being used in association to this quotation which which belongs to this document let me select another one right click import neighbors import codes and now I know that these two codes are being used in association to this quotation which belongs to this document and so on so these are the things that you can do and uh, in regards to this now you can continue adding elements all, all, all you have to do is to go to the document right click import neighbors and if there is a memo connected uh, to quotations in this document then the memo will also show there so you have to experiment with all of this and see what you get if you look at the at the inspector or open the inspector you can rename the network I can say network of document uh, participant participant 5 right and here you can give a description of this network all right so let's see I will now uh, open or create a new network new network network 2 and I will import into this network a specific quotation let me select one of my quotations from here this one there drag and drop now I want to know something about this quotation and I want to look at that uh, uh, in a network representation right click import neighbors let's see what happens when I import common neighbors these are the elements that are connected to this uh, to this particular quotation and which are also connected to other elements so these are the the common network common neighbors right click import uh, codes and it's precisely the two codes that we imported before right click import memos uh, if there is a memo connected to it it will show uh, if there is a, a quotation or more quotations connected to that as uh, semantically that will also show but it looks like this quotation does not have anything else so it would only only import the 
the codes linked to it. Let me create a new a new network. Let me now import a specific set of uh, a code, one specific code. So let me import this code that I call pediatric services into here. Pediatric services. Right click, import neighbors, import uh, quotations. I want to know the quotations that are being used in association to this code and this here they are. Now I want to see here import neighbors uh, if there is a uh, memo link to that it's gonna show there. Uh, let me see import groups. Yes it tells me that this particular code uh, is a member of a group of codes called services. Okay so this is a group that I created and I inserted into this group this particular this particular uh, um, a, a, a code. Okay, uh, let me see. Let me see here. I have memos there, research diary. Okay, so I'm going to create a new network in fact or in fact I don't have to create a new network. I can insert into this one another element. Let me insert this memo here. This is a memo. I right click on the memo, import quotations. What quotations are connected to this uh, memo? And here it is. This memo research diary is connected or I connected it to these quotations. Uh, okay so these quotations are connected to this research diary memo. Now I may wonder okay this quotation which is connected to this memo let me see um, what code is coding it import codes and as you can see it tells me that this quotation which illustrates the content of this memo is connected to this particular code. Now let me open the inspector and let's see what we find here. Uh, the research uh, diary memo is uh, linked to all of these codes here. Rural origin, cultural diversity, domestic work, work nutritional issues, infectious diseases, construction, as well as connected to these four quotations there. Okay. So this is shown here. If I want to access one of those quotations, I can do that by selecting or clicking on this arrow next to it and the quotation will show in context. And, and you can see now that precisely uh, the memo research diary is connected to it. So let me show the inspector there. And, and that, that, that is what you can do with this uh, network. Now let me go back to the network here. I will hide the inspector so, so I have more space. And now I can of course uh, remove this from, from this network there. And I will remove that. Okay. So I stay with what I had originally. Now let me show you another kind of network which is not anymore the simple uh, representation of the connections that we made in the normal process of working with our data but this is really a different kind of network because it's semantic so what I will do here is I will insert into this uh, network view a number of codes these are all of these red codes here and I will proceed now to connect them semantically so in Atlas TI you are not limited to any kind of semantic relation. Uh, this is equivalent to creating a concept map. Okay, so uh, you wonder, okay, how do codes relate to each other? What is my understanding of how is it that codes relate to each other? Well, uh, you can do anything you want. You can say code A contradicts code B, uh, code A uh, supports code B, uh, code A uh, is a cause of or anything you want because you 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 uh, are free 
uh, to relate codes to codes in any in any way you want but in this particular case I will create a very typical semantic structure okay uh, representing how is it that these people I have interviewed uh, describe the population of service recipients so here I have a code there and I will say okay uh, this 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 code here uh, the description of the population of service recipients I will say that uh, these people are describing them in terms of their origin so I'm gonna look for a code called origin here it is I'm gonna create a simple tree structure in terms of their occupation in terms of the health issues that affect them okay so health issues that affect them there so I am creating this tree structure uh, under health issues I see that people are talking about infectious diseases talking about nutritional issues in terms of occupation I see that people are talking about uh, construction informal economy and informal economy and domestic work I see as well so I'm placing codes in a specific way in this space so that I can proceed to connect them later in terms of origin I'm talking about urban origin as well as, as well as rural origin uh, and, 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 and as well as socioeconomics so now I need to proceed to connect codes to code so this code relates to the one on top because I think that the origin of people is part of how these interviewees are describing the population of service recipients I will say that occupation is also part of that uh, health issues is also part of it I will say that urban origin is part of the origin of service recipients I'm sorry yes of service recipients is what I meant I say that rural origin is also part of it so I am connecting semantically uh, these codes and I will say that socioeconomics is a property of both urban as well as rural origin so I am proceeding to create this concept map construction uh, is is an occupation informal economy is an occupation and domestic work I will say it's also an occupation infectious diseases I'm sorry infectious diseases is health issue uh, nutrition is also a health issues and this one which is uh, cultural diversity let me say that cultural diversity according to my understanding okay uh, is a property of a property of rural origin let's say that this is my understanding okay so this is a concept map that describes my understanding of a particular domain so far so what else can I do here I can import into this network view specific quotations connected to these codes import neighbors import quotations so here I go this quotation uh, is uh, connected to this to this code to this code and this one on top let me see what people are saying in regards to infectious diseases there you go what people are saying in regards to cultural diversity here it is now if I want to go to the context okay uh, to the context of this quotation cultural we serve here here it is well I can do that by going to the document here in document participant 4 and this is it okay and here is the quotation uh, to the quotation um, here it is this is a quotation where I have the code cultural diversity okay let me go back to my network there you go what about this one this is being said about construction and domestic work and occupation but what is this from where does it this come from well let me see 
it comes from document one. Uh, let me take a look at this quotation, quotation 12.5, and here it is. Okay, uh, it's right here, one of this here. So this is what uh, this is what you can do with your uh, with your networks uh, uh, more or less. But but let me go a step beyond there, because uh, you can also connect quotations to con quotations semantically. So you can say that this quotation here, let me hide this inspector, is contradicting what is meant by this other quotation. Okay, and you can say that what is meant by this quotation is contradicting what is meant by this other one. So you are moving a step beyond creating concept maps in which you connect codes to codes through meanings and you go a step beyond into connecting quotations to quotations through meanings. So this finalizes this, this uh, video tutorial on how to work with networks in Atlas TI for Mac. Thank you.